Here are the necessary steps for getting a hot date with Karlak. Kill the fake paladins. Under their noses. I got this. Open up. Always talk to Karlak in the camp, check if she has new dialogues. Do all the dialogues that are available, pick nice options. Becklear, you want to be with her, want to kiss her. When she asks to cool her down, throw a water bottle on her and kiss. If you have an opportunity to flirt with her, do so. Granted the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Time for Find the infernal iron and do her fixes with Damon. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of aid. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... ...changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? What I wouldn't do for better like it's will be done. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Bring it on. Karlak! I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Ew, no! Good news, please, my good man. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first... Fix me. Please. Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. There. 
So did it work? Only one way to find out. You're all right. No burns. Can we go to bed now? <laughs> Hold on, Carla. There's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours, it's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I am not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it, even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Yeah, apart from the doom and gloom, you've given me more than I could ever hope to repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Talk to her before entering the Baldur's Gate, and then when you will reach the lower city and do a long rest, she will ask you on a date. Hey. Yeah, I had the same thought. <laughs> so much has happened between then and now. Maybe we just got a little caught up in it all. But I'm not going anywhere. I've got plans for the future, you know, and they involve you. I figured it out. Exactly what I want to do with you. I want to go on a date. A first date. No weapons, no monsters, no mysterious voices. Just you and me and dinner. Please say yes. Yes! Oh, amazing. Put on your least bloody tunic and meet me back here. Oh, I'm so excited! Give me a beat to run ahead. I want to make sure everything's absolutely perfect. See you there. Enjoy the date in a comically bad restaurant that you'll remember forever, even when you and Carlac will grow old together in your small cozy home at Avernus. Hi. Hi. You made it. You look nice. Thank you. Hmm. Baldurian seafood stew. No, thank you. What do you think you'll have? Just what I had in mind. Huh? Two of the Rothe ribs, please. And two glasses of... And two glasses of beer. <laughs> so, you're an adventurer, right? How's that going? Ah, uh, bad-ish. <laughs> Not trying to one-up the local villains, of course, but man, have I seen some shit. 
But hang on, this isn't first date talk. Tonight, I'm a mystery to you, and you're a mystery to me. <laughs> Everything about you is new to me, honey. You're the first gift I've met, sure. But you're also singular in the world for so many other reasons. <laughs> God, I'm terrible at this. I'm trying to have a first date, but I feel like I've known you all my life. No! Yes! No! came to have a nice date, and that's what we're going to do. Go on, date me. I dare you. Right here in Baldur's Gate, more or less. My folks are long gone now, but they raised me in the outer city. Dad was a porter in town, Mum did laundry. Still think of her when I smell clean sheets. We were poorer than dirt, but my... Gods, we had fun. What about you? It's one of the things I love about you. Your ability to see things through. Oh, hey. Here comes our food. Hey, uh, Hank, I think we ordered the... It's a bleeder. Worst guy I ever met. Anyway, how about a toast? <coughs> oh, shit! May we live every day like it's our last. Never know when your last will come. Oh, that was great. The food and the company. You know what I want to do. I know I can't stay forever here with you. In fact, I feel like, like I don't have long left at all. We've been through so much and the worst is yet to come. I have every reason to feel terrified, hopeless, not giving up. But to be here with you in the city I love, in this world that I love so much, it's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. I love you. And I know that whatever else this city will throw at us, we can handle it. Come on. There's something I want to show you upstairs. Hope you like it. <laughs> 